along with Brady Ferraro, my name is James Zabalski. Welcome to St. Louis, Missouri. All right, we're just moments away here. Uh, where's your scout cam going tonight? I'm going to look and see who gets their star players involved in the game earliest, who's going to be able to carry the matchup, and which coach feels like he's playing chase most of the night. Two teams looking star for a win, and we are set to go. The Blues start with possession as we are now underway. Here's a short pass to O'Reilly. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Couldn't complete the play. O'Reilly's carrying it ahead. Chicago's got possession here in the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. Picked off. He's only one goal away from his next real achievement. You know he'd like to get it here. Feeds the puck to Dabrinkit. St. Louis has it near the wall. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Moves it quickly over to Taves. Comes up with a monster save in front. Handles the puck at the point. Big play inside the defensive zone. Puck picked up by Keith. Moves it to Nylander. And that pass goes awry. And the Zebras save play on. Not great effort, James. He got down the ice and nullified that icing call. St. Louis has it in their own zone. They go on the attack through center. Hammers it on net. Brilliant save. Read it perfectly. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still looking for our first goal. The Blues win the draw. A chance right in front. Turns it away. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Chicago's looking to break out. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Solid check to slow him down. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Pucks it away in his own end. Carpenter stick handling in his own zone. The Blues get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. Quick pass over to Thomas. Handles the puck. Great save from in tight. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. And we've got a two on one. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Trying to get back on the attack now. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Strong defensive effort. The Blackhawks take possession in the neutral zone. Taken by Seabrook. Feeds it on over to Carpenter. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Pumps the puck away. Quick feed to Brower. Just a great defensive read there. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. He says, let's get physical on that play. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Stones him in front. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Gets it to the other point. Denied by the goaltender. Bennington's ability to read the play helps him out here. The odd man rush means a dangerous chance, but he's right on it. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The game is still scoreless. Chicago's won the draw and they'll go to work. Here's a shot blocked in traffic. Quick pass to Bortuzzo. St. Louis has the puck. Passes on over to McEachern. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Excellent stick work on the play. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. The Blackhawks look to start the transition game. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Passes the puck over to Schwartz. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. St. Louis skins a hold of the puck against the boards. Can't hang on after that hit. Strong defensive effort. Sends a pass over. 
That pass doesn't go. Tosses it on to Schwartz. Grabs it in his own end. Takes the feed. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And there's the save. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Right in the slot. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hack Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000 fans in the arena. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, is also set. Let's do this. Second period underway. We're still in search of our first goal in this one. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts of this one so far? Can't be too surprised. This game's scoreless. There's been very few shots on goal. No pace to it. It was really a sloppy, boring period. Puck scooped up by Dabrinkit. From the point, they take control of it. Uses the force on that hit. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Angles it over to O'Reilly. Gains the zone through center. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. His reflexes on display tonight. Puck grabbed by Taves. The Blackhawks carry it along the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Schwartz takes it across the line. Handles the pass into the middle of the ice. Knocked away. Picked up along the boards by Schwartz. St. Louis looks to attack. From the slot! And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. The Blackhawks will play it from the defensive zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's the pass! Just can't complete that pass. No, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Traps that puck tight to his chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still no score in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that carries off a stick. Scooped up along the wall by Bozak. Snaps it on net. Oh, the puck doesn't get there. It's so crowded in front of the goaltender. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Sends it over. And that one's broken up. And now it's grabbed by Sanford. The Blues will play it from the corner. Moves right to the middle. Here's a chance. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you've got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. Puck picked up by Shaw. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Seabrook's got the puck. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Comes up with the stop. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. The Blues are getting two minutes for elbowing. I got some advice how you don't get a penalty here. Don't elbow him in the head. You know, that's simple logic. The Blackhawks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Their first power play of the game. The game is scoreless, and now they'll start offensive zone faceoff. Move the puck around, get it to the net, and try and impose your will on the other team. Here's a short pass to Saad. Takes a shot with the stop. Denies him again. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Past the halfway mark of this period, we're still scoreless. Chicago's got it, and they're on the attack. Puts it on net. Too many bodies in the way. Chicago's got it near the point. The Blackhawks carrying it along the blue line. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Taken by Kane. Let's it go. Misses the net. Not going to be happy with this. He's got the opportunity to score. Doesn't register a shot on goal. Puck scooped up by Saad. 
And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. And sneaks in and grabs possession. And a successful clearing attempt. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. The Blackhawks played along the boards. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. And the puck leaves the zone. The Blackhawks have it behind the net. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Chicago's gained possession. Centering pass! And that one's broken up. Great block there. Pokes the puck away. Chicago's got it across the line. From the boards, he takes that pass. The Blackhawks looking against the half wall. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Dismiss that chance. He worked hard to find the puck, but it's also because he's in great position. Past the midway mark of the frame. Still scoreless in this one. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Moved out in front, and they can't connect. Grabbed along the boards by Petrangelo. Gaining momentum up along the side. Nice poke check. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Kempf. Both smart heads on play to poke that one away. The Blackhawks take it along the wall. And he was right there. They can't connect. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Camp's got it along the wing. Takes it into the slot. Oh, slick work with the glove by Bennington. But he came out and challenged a good save. Late goings of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Blues will play it in their own end. Puck jumped in deep, allowing for the defenseman to change. Moves it to Taves. St. Louis has possession of it now. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Made the stop on the play. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Kane's going to play it against the half wall. Puts it on net. Huge stop by Bennington. And as the second period comes to an end, what can you say? This has been all about the goalies tonight. Still scoreless. During the game, please remember to be alert at all times in our seating area. Keep you open and safety measures. There are moments where the The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Stay alert at all times when the game is in play. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Third period is now underway, and this next goal could be a critical one. Puck grab by Taves. With possession along the wall. Can't connect! Up along the wing. And that one fired right into the bench. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Taves wins it. And now it's grabbed by Keith. Chicago's got it along the wall. Let's it go. And that one's turned away. Nice pass. Quick shot. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. 
And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Petrangelo. Smart defensive play there. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Taken by Debrinket. A chance and a great save. Puck scooped up by Pareko. Pass across to Schwartz. And now he angles it across to Steen. Quick feed to Shen. Denied by the goaltender. The Blackhawks move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. Fires it. He scores! And he's up and running this season. Look at the relief on his face already. He hasn't even played many games, but you want this as early as you can. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender. Chicago's been pushing all night long offensively. They finally get the big goal to put them up here in the third. They've had the puck the whole time, it seems like. Chance after chance. There was a danger here. They were going to get frustrated, but now they have the lead. And a strong effort on that play. Crawford's had to be on his game. That's a great chance. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. Denied by the blocker. Bennington's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Calgary's in town next to provide the final game of this homestand. Yeah, the tests don't get any easier. No. And they play pretty well on the road most times, so it'll be a difficult game. Easy pass save made by Crawford. Puck sent over to Smith and tries to make a diagonal pass to Shaw. Takes the feet at the back end. Hammers a shot just wide. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Nice dish from the left wing. Good use for the body on the play. Moves the puck. Biddington's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Chicago's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Blues win it in the defensive zone. Scandella's got it along the boards. Crowers got it in the offensive zone. Takes the feed up ahead. Picked up along the wall by Seabrook. They've got numbers. Fires one, and that's blocked away. The Blues have it against the wall. Here they come up along the wing. The Blackhawks have the puck now. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Sunfist's got control of the puck in the corner. Receives the pass. And a penalty is coming up as the play is whistled dead here. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the call. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. St. Louis with a big-time chance here on this man advantage. Well, they've gotten themselves to within one. Now they've got a power play opportunity to try and even the score. The best power plays always work when the feet and the puck are moving at the same time. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Chicago's on the attack. Rocked him in the open ice. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Bennington's locked in. Every puck hits him and stays in front of him. And the odd chance there's a rebound. He tracks that well, too. Here's a blast. Stops him cold. Schwartz works the puck in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. And that one stopped. Can't get a hold of that pass. Couldn't make that one happen. Another stop by the goaltender. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. And the goalie leaves his crease to play the puck. Quick pass to Smith. Pass stolen in the 
open ice. And now he tries to get it across to O'Reilly. Cutting to the front of the net and makes the save. Looks to get the puck over to Smith. Rocks him. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Perron's got it across the line. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Slides the puck over. Stopped by the goaltender. And another stop. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. The Blackhawks are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. There's another stop. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. They're everywhere. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. That pass goes a little sideways. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 oh. oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. Along the half wall with the puck. To his teammate, and they can't convert to the play. Gains control the puck here at the line. Seabrook's got it against the boards. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Here's a short pass to Fulton. Gets in front of it. Crawford's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Made the save on the play. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? And he slides it quickly to Seabrook. Takes the pass. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Blackhawks have possession shorthanded. And sends it just out of reach. Through center along the wing. Couldn't complete the play. The Blues gain control of it. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. From the blue line, they take control of it. Scores! With a little added drink on the side. I like when the bottle goes up in the air, how angry the goalie gets. Like he slaps the bottle away. Not the bottle's fault. Like, stop the puck, man. Just the insult to injury with the bottle pop. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Across the line from center. Here he is in front! And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. St. Louis has it near the wall. Sanford's got it in the offensive end. He's got a step! Denies! Oh my goodness, what a save! I thought he had him, but the goalie keeps the game close with an excellent save. Right in the slot! Let's the wrister go. Puts it into the back of the net for the goal! Yeah, breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight. Sometimes it stays that way a long time. He had a sliver of room, took off down the ice with the shorthanded goal. That breaks the tie. They still got to kill off the rest of the power play, but they're in a much better shape, obviously, now. Chicago's coaches are pretty active on the bench there, right? What do you hear? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. Smith's won the draw here in the neutral zone. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. The Blues gain possession in their own end. Chaps the puck away. The Blues have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Nice zone entry from the right side. Towards the empty net, doesn't go. Take it along the wall, but towards the gaping net, tucks it into the empty net. Oh, that should pretty well wrap it up. Another cushion onto the lead. Now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough.
Chicago added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're going to pressure you. You put it away with an easy one into the empty net. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Battling for it along the boards. Fires to the empty net. Puck grabbed by Falk. Slides it over to Seabrook. No one home on that play. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. Chicago's puck possession really the difference tonight in your mind, Ray? I would say so because the game was close and really never spread out. They had the puck more, so they were more dangerous than their opponents. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.